Senator Francis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Welcome, Minister Lametti. CBC News reported that few federal public servants are taking part in the Indigenous-related training offered through CSPS. In 2021, only 16% took part in the training with the highest attendance, and the RCMP had some of the lowest number of participants. Following September 30th, we cannot forget that the Federal Public Service helped design, implement, and maintain the residential schools and other harmful initiatives. Given your government's state, stated commitment to reconciliation, I find it disappointing and concerning that the development of competencies for improved sensitivity and responsiveness to Indigenous peoples is not already a requirement. Will you commit to supporting a government-wide directive to make ongoing training related to Indigenous peoples mandatory for all federal public servants as soon as possible? Senator, I, I read that report and I share your concern, uh, and it is something that, that I will raise in the appropriate channels. Uh, I can say that within the Justice Department, we are, I, I think we are uh, moving in the right direction. Uh, both in terms of, uh, on the Attorney General side, both in terms of, of implementing the litigation directive uh, that my predecessor, uh, the Honourable Jody Wilson-Raybould, brought in, but also with respect to the policies uh, that, that we develop at the justice uh, level. We've, we, for example, with UNDRIP, have created a secretariat. Um, and I can say that there is real enthusiasm in, within that secretariat to not to put it too bluntly, right the wrongs of the past. And so, uh, and I'm hoping that that's something that we can, uh, we can expand across government. But I, I, I agree. I read the report. I, I was concerned uh, in the same way that you're concerned, and I will do my best uh, to help change that.